What's up, Jabroni Steven here. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into White Collar Pilots Part 2. Uh, still episode one, but it's the second part of the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the first one. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, understand this is a pilot program show, which means it was selected by a Patreon supporter, but that does not mean that the next episode will be available right away. Um, so if you are seeing this on YouTube, that would mean that the... The actual proper second episode is actually on uh, Patreon. You can head over there, get the full reactions to everything, part one, part two. And if this is on here, you can also get part three over there as well. Um, so let's see. Um, in the pilot, we found our, our our man, main man, whose name is Neil, white collar criminal. He's like a thief. And he broke out. Because his girl was leaving him. His girl, who's played by Alexandra Didario, whose name is Kate. Uh, he broke out to go to her. She was long gone. Gets himself caught and then decides to help out our cop guy in finding somebody that stole some bonds or something. Or he's making counterfeit bonds on some, on some Spanish paper. Yeah, like I said in the pre-show. Uh, not the greatest of episodes. I thought it was like solid. Um, but it did end weird. Where it didn't really have an ending long um, because of course it wasn't meant to be the ending it was meant to just continue into the second hour and uh Hulu did not really do a good job of uh explaining that <laughs> um so we're gonna hop in here have a good time let's see where it leaves us we'll find out where things are gonna go like comment subscribe pretty much here we go base value drawing nine percent interest compounded for 64 years two hundred forty eight thousand dollars each what he said. Order of a million. So how's Neil doing? He met Diana. Oh, nice. A woman who can resist his charm. Dog's like, I'm the date tonight. But that's taken some getting used to. What is that? Is he helping? We know he's got an ego. We know he's smart. We know he's got style. Like you. I guess I'd catch him by figuring out how I'd catch you. Big are you trying to realize? Are you trying to figure out? Oh, is, does she swing for the other yeah. team or do I have a shot? Yeah. Uh, not the old lady. I saw the best mind of my generation get run down by the drunken taxi cab of absolute reality. <sighs> Can you pick it? No way. No way. You flew to. You're gonna like snoop through her stuff? Money? Maybe. This drone was captured with England activated. Deal with you. Ah, oh, shit. No. I'm coming. Hell, I've got to go. Neil's outside his radius. <laughs> you have to say I'm surprised you have such an amazing wife. Yeah, I like her. Get off my couch. <laughs> hey, we're just chatting. Chatting? How did you get here? Cab. You activated. But he said he wanted to make sure that I wasn't seeing anybody else. Honey, I think it's cute. I think it's adorable. I'm putting you back in prison. <laughs> I know who the Dutchman is. Well, you don't need oh. a mirror for the letter H, by the way. I don't know. That's that's a stretch. This... I'm going to say goodbye to my wife oh, now. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, after all. Vocative woman. He's been tempted. More than tempted. I have details. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Calm and defend his age. What are we looking for? The guy is supposed to be here. Why? We could just arrest him. Do you think Diana's attractive? Sure. Then we're good. And you are just a friend. Well, friend. The church is closed. I mean, you don't own the jersey. We were talking to the priest, so we good. Need your help with this. This information on Hagen? No, Diana's on her way with that. This is about your wife, isn't it? This is your wife's visa bill. Yeah, I got it all. The eBay bids, video rentals, library books, and the Patriot Act. Now you think what she really wants is Oleander candles? There's a fine line between passion and stalking. Hey, only if you're ugly. 
<laughs> you sort of only if you're ugly. He's leaving the country. He booked a flight through a private charter company in Barcelona for the 19th. Neil, if we lose him, you're back in. I can't save you. Damn. I mean, this is, I mean, this is the only case he has to do that he has. So yeah. If you fail on the one thing you have to do, then yep, that's bad. Is this about Kate? Hagen runs it through a shell corporation out of Guatemala. He didn't know about this. How did you? I don't think you rely on rumor as much as I do. Let's go. Right here. Machine. Hey, Printing bonds. Good. It's a Heidelberg windmill. I don't care what he's done. He's done a lot of stuff. Don't care. Don't care how you know each other. This won't blow back on him. Exactly what is your plan if you find her? You know, we just take this because I, I don't even want to see it again. Yeah. He's bullshitting clearly about. Agent Burke. First rule, no last names. Right here in the magic apple. Holy so, shit, nice. So, there you go. My gift to you. This is, he doesn't follow any of that. Actual evidence linking Hagen to the warehouse? <laughs> Not in the sense of the... Yeah. He's gonna... It's his thing again. He's leaving. He's gonna break into... Um, What's going on? He ran. He'll break in. They'll have, the cops will have to show up here. And that's how they'll get him. Because they have to go into that building to get him. I don't care. Wake them up if you have to. I need him. Actually, this isn't a bad plan. Right? Because if the cops, the cops have to go in to get him. Hey. Hi there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm taking a photography class over at the annex and... What exactly is going on here? Why would they... Yeah, dumbasses? Keys are on the way. <laughs> what, what dumbasses let him inside the office? I actually dig this plan. I think it's actually really smart. And he just figured it out. There isn't, there's no back door, man. We were all going to the front like morons. Diana? Exigent circumstance allows us to pursue a suspect onto private property without obtaining a warrant. And nice coat. You know, this makes me 3-0. <laughs> hey, I'm not trying hard enough. Oh, wait. Hey, an actual trip? Belize. What? I found the time. One of these <laughs> on your own. I'm official. You're a consultant, and I own you for four years. Nice. You okay with that? Yeah. Um, all right, well, that was episode number one, uh, part two of the pilot. Uh, definitely better than the first one, um, just because, I mean, it was meant to be one giant episode. And if I were to rate the entire thing as a whole, I'd probably give it an eight. Um, interesting characters. They told a pretty good story. Um, I thought the ending was well done with the, how he ended up getting into the um, the warehouse. I thought the, in, the way that they kind of, um, he tried to, like, the end, Introduction, like the way that they connected um, the wife and his relationship with his girl, Kate, right? That's her name. I thought that was handled pretty well. Uh, for, so overall, I enjoyed it. Definitely a show that if I was, um, I'd keep watching on my own. Definitely seems like something like that. So uh, we'll see if anybody ever requests a second episode, um, but I enjoyed it. Uh, let's break it down real quick and see if anything happens here. 
Uh, so we we're bring, at the beginning. We're we're st it starts off right where we left off. We know that the bonds are being duplicated. We don't know why. We're trying to figure it out. We uh, we figure out that the bonds are worth two hundred and fifty thousand. There's six hundred of them, so it's a hundred and fifty million dollars around that much. So that's a hell of a lot of money. Uh, but we're still trying to connect why they stole the original. And I think when um, Neo says it makes perfect sense because we're trying to when they do get the forgery, the forged ones, they're going to try to connect it to the original and they're going to match. Makes perfect sense to steal that one because that's the one that they have in inventory. So it's really good. Uh, Peter's really bad at keeping his time and with his wife. So he's late for dinner. Um, we then find out that he's also forgot about the anniversary. He makes like a comment about at least my wife didn't leave me, leave the country to get away from me. Great little comment. Great little uh, kind of like dig at Neil. Um, then we get to introduce to Neil's friend who's kind of crazy, but also really good at what he does. Um, we then get a phone call. Well, Peter's trying to figure out what his wife likes. And this is like something that every man can relate to or any person. And when you're trying to figure out what your partner likes in life, you're like, man, what is there? What do they like? And what would they appreciate as an anniversary? Uh, he gets a phone call about uh, Neo uh, essentially leaving. And he walks downstairs and Neo is hanging out with his wife. And they're having a the grand conversation. And he says he figured out who the, the culprit uh, person, the person that um, forged this stuff is because the person signed it. So we get a couple of, you know, into the church, a little joke about infidelity and the man having needs or Peter having needs. We then are observing the work that the man did. Um, the bad guy ends up seeing Neo. And when we do this, we figure out that he is bailing. Um, while that's all happening, we're also trying to figure out what the wife likes. Uh, Neo's trying to help. Essentially, Peter says, if we if we don't catch him, you're going back in because you literally we brought you out for one thing to solve this case and you failed. So therefore, you have to go back. Of course, Neil goes out of his way, not out of his way, but he tries to figure out ways to find it. He um, talks to his friend about where he could possibly be. We get a cigarette moment here. The clues in the cigarettes connect the um, we find out where the warehouse is. We go to the warehouse, the warehouse it's also being guarded, but we there's no way to get in, right? We can't go in without a warrant, so therefore we are stuck on the outside. And I like how Neil's like, you know where there is, just go in. <laughs> Which is always an interesting plot, right? Where a reality when you know something's on the other side, but you don't have a warrant to go inside. Uh, we get, we get like this hearing or this audio equipment so we could hear about the machines. We figure out what kind of machines they were, but we can't go in. Uh, Neil wants to take a week or so to go to San Diego because that's where his uh, ex-girlfriend is. But Peter's like, hey, man, let it go. It's not happening. You're ruining your life even more for her. We talk to Peter's or Neil's friend who's kind of crazy nuts. Doesn't actually help us at all, really. Um, so Neil decides to read the warrant handbook, figures out something in there, and he decides to break in or get himself inside of the warehouse because then that would mean that the cops have to go in to get him i like how when uh oh yeah and then the dumbass bad guys put him in the office idiots i like when the uh when peter figures out what he's doing he smiles and he's like hey we gotta go in there and that was a cool little review cool way to do it i enjoyed it um then peter does Earlier in the episode, he figured out about how exactly he was going to give his, what was he was going to give his wife for the anniversary, and essentially he did like this whole honeymoon, not honeymoon, but like vacation thing, trying to make it feel warm. It's cold. It's New York, so you know it's a, it's a cute and very cheesy, but at the same time, he did get her a real trip, and they are going on a trip. To, to a house that was seized by the cops, but it's in this nice little place. And in the end here, our boy Neil gets a proper badge. 
and we got to figure out who this guy is. So, essentially, that's the episode. Uh, I very much thought it was pretty good. Like I said, I give it an eight. Both episodes together, I give an eight uh, because it told an interesting story. Uh, like other, um, which I believe this is going to be a procedural show, like other procedural shows, I'm pretty positive that with this show, what's going to be the case is the chemistry between our two leads and the chemistry between all the other actors are going to probably be what elevate everything over just the regular week to week cases. I don't know how many years this went uh, for. I originally thought this show was called Suits. Uh, that's another show, uh, which I think another Patreon supporter has selected for me to do as well. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. Head over to Patreon. Full uncut and edited reactions over there if you want them. If you don't, that's cool. You get episodes here whenever they show up. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. All right, guys. I'm going to end this here. Try to get this to you guys up as quickly as possible.